Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie called Outside the Wire. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. In 2036, a civil war in Ukraine erupted between pro-Russian separatists and local resistance groups, prompting the United States to send in peacekeeping forces. A team of US Marines and robotic warriors known as GUMPS are assaulted during an operation. Drone pilot Lt. Hart disobeys an order and launches a Hellfire missile at a suspected enemy launcher, killing two Marines caught in the killzone, but sparing the lives of the 38 Marines who would have been killed by the launcher. Harp is reassigned to combat duty at Camp Nathaniel, the U.S. base of operations in Ukraine, as a result of his punishment. Harp is assigned to Captain Leo, a highly advanced and experimental android super soldier who poses as a human officer, a secret that only Harp and Camp Commander Colonel Eckhart are aware of. Harp and Leo set out on a mission to prevent terrorist Viktor Koval from obtaining control of a network of Cold War era nuclear missile silos while delivering vaccines to a refugee camp. They respond to a reported attack on a friendly aid vehicle while on their approach, resulting in a standoff between the Marines and armed locals. Following the shooting of a local who hurled a rock by a GUMP, Leo negotiates a peaceful solution by handing over the contents of the relief truck to the residents. Locals and Marines are ambushed by pro-Russian militants, resulting in a gunfight. As a result, Leo and Harp are forced to walk to the refugee camp, while the Marines remain behind to deal with the militants. A and rebel shoots Leo and Harp at the refugee compound, killing some victims. Before leaving the rebel to be slaughtered by the crowd, Leo tortures him for information. Sophia, a rebel leader, is introduced to Leo and Harp. Sophia leads them to an arms dealer who knows where Koval is hunting for a bank vault with nuclear launch codes. Harp and Leo arrive at the bank to find Koval's forces, which include numerous Russian-built GUMPS Harp saves just a few of the victims trapped in a crossfire between US and Russian GUMPS, while Leo obtains the codes but is unable to locate Koval. Eckhart orders a drone strike, which destroys the bank and numerous other structures, prompting the military headquarters to assume Koval is dead and Leo is destroyed. Leo meets up with Harp, who informs him that he has his own intentions for the codes and has been coercing Harp into assisting him and avoiding military leadership. He knocks Harp out and abandons him on the side of the road, where Sophia's men pick him up. When Koval refuses to allow Leo access to a nuclear missile silo, Leo meets with him to give him the codes, but kills him. Sophia and Eckhart are informed of Leo's acts, and they learn that Leo is going to launch nuclear missiles at the United States in order to prevent them from fighting future wars. Harp agrees to infiltrate the silo and discovers that Leo has assumed over. He disables Leo, but not before he launches a missile, stating that his purpose was to have the Android Super Soldier program fail. Harp flees when a drone strike destroys the missile silo before it can launch, killing Leo. Harp returns to Camp Nathaniel and is greeted with praise from Eckhart, who informs him that he will resume his duties as a drone pilot in the United States 